guys, welcome back to another video. Lots going on in this video. Kind of want to give you guys a general update on a lot of different things. Um, and we're just going to try and get some work done tonight, but I want to kind of update you on a lot. So first off, let's take a look right here. Boom. Okay, so we have the Pro Street truck back at the home garage. So want to address this real quick. Uh, we'll pretty much be doing everything from uh, our home garage shop setup from here on out pretty much on everything. Now, that is mostly because the space that I have taken up or took up at King Speed Shop uh, was just a lot. Uh, I got another new guy starting, uh, just need more shop space over there. Try to separate uh, all of my stuff going on over there from uh, all of the work that needs to get done on a daily basis. So trying to get uh, my stuff out of the way there. So we're gonna be doing everything here, which is good. Also another added bonus. I can kind of explain to you guys a lot of the stuff that's going on, a little bit more detailed, a lot of distractions. Uh, the CNC uh, machine running almost nonstop over there makes it kind of hard to talk, to hear. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go over the Pro Street truck, kind of where we're at with everything, kind of the uh, timeline, the objectives, all that good stuff. So that's gonna be a majority of what we got going on today. And we're gonna try and get some more work done on that. Other news, other news, we went and got ourselves a bottle of Argon, and that's because sitting over here, and as you guys can tell, obviously the shop is still, we're getting the shop kind of organized. We'll, we'll get back to the other thing over there, but we're trying to get the shop organized. It's gonna take some time, but it's getting there. We got old Hawk Performance over here, gonna roll some beads tonight, but toolboxes, got the desk set up, the, the table set up here with the vise. We're gonna get another clean table over here for some of the assembly stuff. Right now, and this is another thing, we went ahead and upgraded the roll cart. So this one is actually one of the bigger roll carts that you can get, uh, it's a little bit deeper. The other one, we were just pretty much out of space already and I haven't even put a lot of the stuff in it. So this one's got a nice slot rack on it, has the uh, power up top here, which is gonna be nice when we're at the track. We can kind of plug this thing in, have power right here on the top, and another couple cool features, but mostly just because of the space. Got the parts washer here, good old safety clean parts washer. Um, nothing really different on the vehicle setup. We're still working on the 08 in the background, but here we go, Pro Street truck, gonna be home. Lots of good stuff coming. Uh, but anyway, back to, and, and the first gen is still just kind of stuff everywhere, but we'll get, we'll get that, we'll get that fixed. But bottle of Argon, went ahead and got that because we got ourselves a TIG welder. Not that we know how to use it or know what to do. That's why Silent Mike is gonna teach us. Uh, tonight might be the first time we try and TIG weld some stuff. So don't really have, uh, I mean, well, let's go with like any experience, but this is what this is what good old Silent Mike told us to get AHP welding systems. You know, already had to brand it. You know, give it the first mod, if you will. But this is a uh, TIG machine that I figured we could use here, learn here. Good starter welder, and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Mike doesn't really know. Michael Michael's never used one of these either. But we're gonna find out. Michael did his research, spent some time on the good old used tubes, and uh, figured this would be a good start. So. You can kind of see what we got going on over here in this corner as well. Moved some of the shelving units, which we still got to get organized. Got the good old pig safety clean unit there. And then we got our engine freedom stage Greg.30. About to go in the 05. About to tear it up. Compressor. Got some of the other stuff down this wall. Got the bed sides. So a lot of stuff. You guys know, if you guys have ever taken a vehicle apart or multiple vehicles apart, they actually take up like three to four times more area when they're apart than they are together. Go figure, that makes complete sense. But uh, just like the 08, like look at how much space the 08 is taking up right now, just being completely apart. So uh, yeah, obviously the goal is to put everything back together um, and obviously the 08 won't be in here. So it's really, really packed right now. Um, the home garage has the pro mod in it and all of the pro mod stuff. So there is just, there is stuff for seven or eight trucks going on right now. So, um, you know, it took me a little while to get organized in the old shop. It'll take me a little while to get organized in this shop. But uh, tonight, 
Michael actually ran out and we need to change the plug. I actually need to change a couple plugs, but he went and grabbed that. But anyway, here's where we're at on the Pro Street truck. And yes, we still have a bunch of work to do. Um, got held up on some engine parts, but uh, that's not a big deal. We probably will not make the first race with this truck. Just obviously there's only like two weeks left. Uh, the engine still isn't together. It's not really a basic engine setup. Um, so we'll get to that. I'm not even gonna get into the engine stuff that we're gonna be using, but uh, here's where we are at with the progress thus far. Um, you guys can't see underneath these panels, but we have the floor panels over here. And I'm not sure how much I've gone over this or not, but the seat mount is completely done. We did a really, really nice job on the seat mount. Really nice. It attaches up there and down here. Got the seat belts. Uh, all the seat belt brackets, like right here, right here, up top there, are all fully mounted. Got the Lexan cut out for these windows. Obviously, we got to do the door latches and all that stuff, which, again, I really want to try and show you guys a lot of all of these little details. And uh, it being here is much easier to kind of show you guys everything. So uh, with the engine moved back and with this bar right here, uh, here's what we got for the upper part of the dash. You got these three sections and then you got the three sections down here. Now what we're gonna be doing is actually extending where your feet go out. This is actually gonna kick out and then over to kind of meet this line right here. We'll show you guys a little bit of that. That's not completely done. As far as these panels go, all of these panels are done right here to kind of close in the uh, firewall on this top dash part. Uh, but what we need to do is use good old Hawk Performance over here and roll some beads in it because the panels are obviously rather large they need some actual structure to them so we're going to probably try and roll some beads in them to give them that little extra support and that should uh, kind of wrap up like maybe maybe not all of the dash but uh, this is going to be kind of a little bit of the complicated part but will give me more foot room obviously if you guys can see maybe this will be a little bit better angle like once the seat is in there if the whole uh, firewall were to be straight we would not have a whole lot of leg room. So given me to like out here, we'll be able to mount the pedals much nicer and get those panels fixed and cleaned up. So that is where we are at. And then obviously we got to continue on the, uh, the trans tunnel here, get the floor done, uh, put the glass back in, finish the back of the cab. But I know it sounds like we have a lot to go, which we definitely do have a lot to go, but man, it's all right. That's okay. We're going to get it done. But uh, yeah, that's the general gist of what's been going on. Obviously, it took a tremendous amount of time to move uh, the Pro Mod, the Pro Street truck, everything that I had at King Speed here, which freed up a lot of space at the shop to do working, you know, nine to six shop things and actually uh, not be in the way of everybody. So uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That is the long-winded intro of what's been going on. Stage one of this evening's activities. How to improperly wire a 50 amp plug. Touch all the wires at the same time with your hands. Don't worry, we at least got the breaker off, which is, you know, you know, most people wouldn't even do that, you know? I might even question myself whether we should do that, but we did find out in this mess of a breaker I don't mind the uh, don't mind the Chipotle chips. No, no big deal. Yeah. So as you guys know, uh, some of the electrical around this new facility is, uh, you know, possibly not up to standards. But we're getting it there. We're getting it there. So we're getting one one plug swapped out at a time, so we can at least use our welder. Michael, do you want to tell the people why we chose the welder that you chose? Besides good YouTube reviews. Just Good color. Just a good unit. Oh, the color. That's exactly right. That's. I mean, that's where I was going. I mean, I specifically even asked for a argon bottle that had a yellow top on it. So, no. But for real, any 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 solid reasons? Good price. It was a good price. What'd you say? What price to quality? Price to quality. That's right. I feel like this is bad. You know, we just got to make sure if nothing's going to happen, you know. Touching the metal building? Which one is it? Well, that's a great question to be asking right before you flip something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got power, baby. 
200. That's good, right? All of it? <laughs> Just give her all of it, all the juice. Oh, it is the one, 200. Wow, look at that. That's cool. What a great knob. Just a good old knob. All right, well, we have power. We can put this thing back in the wall. Well, first weld, how'd it go? That's different. <laughs> a little different than the Miller? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a million bucks for my house. All right, your turn. Oh, oh wait, where am I? My turn? <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Greg's first time. This is gonna be interesting. All right, here we go. Do you always go this well, way or go that I, way? Are you left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. You're welding left-handed. So you always feed it with the opposite? I always feed, I feed. I torch with my strong hand. <laughs> my strong hand. Yeah. This feels weird. So, see how you keep wanting to do this? You need to get it more like that. And then another thing is, is this is adjustable. Watch out now. It doesn't look very good. Very hot. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. Sound like a machine gun. Yeah, let me try. Out, out, out. Oh, that sounds much better. That sounds a little smoother. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, so Greg's first weld. We we're pretty much just, uh, you know, just giving her the juice. Michael over here, making it look fairly easy. I'm sure all the welders out in Welderland will tell us that we're both doing a subpar job, but that's alright. <laughs> we're having a great time. Michael's over there. Just giving her the tweak. Hey, you want me to come read those for you? Yeah. Really? They're in <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said we weren't going to use the pulse feature. Yeah, I, well. We're going to try it? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, alrighty then. Pulse modulation is, uh, is definitely not the uh, beginner beginner uh, beginner setting but you're just over here just trying to have fun I'm a camo mask. hey you're looking pretty pretty redneck you know the following evening we spent most of the night uh, the previous night working and messing around with the welder ordered up a bunch of welding supplies um, a whole bunch of goodies for the welders because we obviously we are professional fabricators now um, anyway it's the next night we're finally gonna get to see if we're gonna test out some bead rolling here official official Greg a weather report I felt like it was kind of noteworthy because it is like freezing cold it's snowing moved to Kentucky they said you'll never see snow again my but, but anyway, real quick, uh, before we get started with this evening, uh, we restocked a bunch of Wrenchwork stuff. If you guys want to go check that out, I know we sold out of first gen shirts and burnout shirts and a lot of the winter stuff. And I believe we even got more jackets in, uh, perfect timing because it's still cold. Uh, but if you guys want to go check out some of that stuff, go over there. Greatly appreciate it if you guys would pick up something that would really help out. But anyway, guys, we do actually have a new PO box down here. So, 
Over the course, we've got a couple packages here. I want to open them up because one thing in here uh, we're actually might be using, uh, which I, I opened this game to work, obviously, um, and I opened it up. Did not know there was going to be some liquid encouragement in here, but this is actually from our buddy Tom. I'll put his Instagram name down here below. If you guys want to send anything in the P.O. box, you guys know the deal, uh, but huge thank you. Monsters, we're going to need this. We have yet to set up the fridge uh, from the other shop, but these are what we're after here, and I will show you guys exactly why uh, with my little knife here. These are not really... They're not really that important. We don't need to keep the finish nice uh, because we're gonna be using them for something different. These are actually wrist pins. These are wrist pins from a VP engine. We'll get to why I needed those. Um, they're actually not going in an engine, but huge thank you. That will greatly help us out. Um, and I believe another guy is actually sending us uh, another set and I'll put his name up here because uh, we might need more than one set eventually. So uh, next up, this is from Kim and Tim. Kim and Tim. I have no idea what this is. All right, so obviously I opened this up quite a bit later on, and this is actually, it's kind of addressed to me, Allie, and Reagan. Um, handwriting is kind of a little bit hard for me, so I had to kind of concentrate. So what the card says is, uh, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, and uh, Kim actually looks like she wrote a uh, one of her first uh, children's book. So this is actually, I gotta, I gotta, you know, give this to Allie and Reagan. I'd actually go inside and kind of do all this with them. Uh, but they're actually home. They'll be home soon. So I will share this with them. Um, so this is her first children's book. If you guys want to go check this out, I believe some of her information, uh, is right here. Children's author. So that's awesome. She she basically said it's nice that all the guys always send in stuff, but this is something for uh, kind of the family, Allie and Reagan, and uh, we can read it together. Uh, but if you guys want to check out, I'm sure it's going to be great. You know, I always love to support you guys that support uh, us and me. Uh, so huge thank you. Um, it's about her son, who's a picky eater. So awesome. Thank you. We're going to read that together. I can't wait. Reagan loves... Reagan loves books, that's for sure. Uh, so here we go. Next up, Alex Longo, Colorado Springs. Big fan, glad to see the shop is finally done. The walls look pretty bare. Walls look pretty bare. I figured every shop needs an American flag. Uh, I've yet to kind of bring in some of the other like flag banners, uh, stuff that I've been collecting from you guys. Put it up here on the wall. Can't wait to see the race trucks on the track. Instagram shout out. I will put it up on the screen and I'll show it to you guys right here. Go check him out, huge thank you. Made in the US of A. This looks like a great flag. Wonder, wonder how big this is. This would be cool. So obviously, we've got some pretty bare, nice walls, so we can probably put that baby up right, right there, hang a nice big American flag, because obviously, America. Uh, so huge thank you, hey, thank you Alex. Um, and then this one over here, I believe I know what this is, but I will, Open it up. Ha ha! Yes! All right, so I'm gonna put, uh, I believe, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up her name. I will put her Instagram name, her and uh, her boyfriend watch. So huge thank you guys. If you guys, if you guys wanna send monsters, those are more than appreciated. But anyway, uh, back to getting some things done. Or like I said, we're gonna try out the bead roller and also possibly remount the bedside. They're getting mounted uh, a little bit differently. Ah! Uh. Did we win? We won. Yes. We're very concerned about it. It's not coming out. After a couple test runs, we're feeling pretty confident, feeling pretty professional. We're gonna call. Oh, are we getting a camera in here too? Mm -hmm. We're uh, we're sending a picture to our man Kyle, Kyle the hot rod master over here. He knows uh, you guys will meet Kyle eventually, but Kyle's a little bit of a 
hot rod connoisseur. So we're uh, we're we're texting texting for approval, but we're feeling uh, pretty good. Feeling pretty good in the corners. Alrighty, guys. Here is our rough test piece. We are now going in for the real deal. This is the real piece. No pressure. So we're feeling pretty decent about our bead rolling capabilities. Three test pieces later, we're obviously experts. So we're going in for the we're going in for the kill on the first piece here. Is pretty much going to wrap up the progress for this evening as you can see we brought over one of the bedsides started peeling some of the existing vinyl wrap off of this because we are going to be welding a support uh, right here the way the bedsides were mounted previously as you guys can kind of see a little bit over here uh, is some of this structure right here and then kind of mounted in a traditional way of the way most people mount bedsides we're gonna do it a little bit differently um, we're just gonna run some back support and as you can see over here, I think I'm saying as you can see a lot, but we chopped off all of the framework on this side and we're actually going to bolt the uh, bedside right to the back of the cab right here. Uh, should be actually a little bit lighter than all of this structure and the way most people mount it. Um, and it was really not going to matter with the wheel well because uh, the way that the 9 inch is in here now it's actually not even perfectly centered in the wheel well so actually moving it forward is actually going to keep it more centered than what it is now so uh, just prepping that a little bit for that piece we did roll a bead in that piece which is right here this is kind of like the the new the new piece right here so bead rolling first night went pretty well, uh, we went ahead and got a couple of the dash pieces made. I actually forgot that I forgot to cut out two of them. So we've got uh, this panel, that panel, and the top panel, and then the two over here I still have to cut out. But took a little bit of time, obviously, because we're not professionals here, uh, but came out really, really nicely. I think it should add some nice detail inside there, add some structure to those panels, uh, and should work out good. But that is where we are leaving off this evening um for tonight obviously still a lot of fab work to do but we're getting there we're getting there that's all that matters it is what it is we're working uh the best that we can and i hopefully maybe in the next video or two uh we will have some engine updates on the pro street truck which you guys are going to love i know um and we'll just continue on with the 08 sitting over there and uh we'll, you know we'll get to we'll get to the second gen the 05 here uh you know, sometime, sometime very soon. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. Can't wait for the new welder. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff coming for it. I uh, need to put in some more time um, and just keep learning. Uh, learning, learning, a lot of people don't realize learning something new is very time consuming. The first time you do it, it's very, very slow. To get good at anything takes an extreme amount of time. Um, and most people don't want to put in the time uh, because there's a lot of other stuff going on stuff like that So that's kind of that's kind of the struggle that I've always had It's like we want to get as much done as possible, but I still want to learn um, So that's that's just this how it goes. It's how it goes. But anyway, that's gonna do it guys Hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you guys very, very soon